This is a different routine than normal, and it's fucking with my brain, and I don't like it. It's Monday morning, and I'm still here. We're about to leave to go back to school. We went to a wedding on Saturday, and then yesterday we had the whole drive from Toronto. But now I'm not at school on Monday morning, and it's fucking with my brain. If anyone pays any attention to my bag and notices that the pins sporadically move around, it's not on purpose, they just fall off, and I forget where they were. It's raining really hard, and there's just one, like staff person outside on the roof <laughs> and I feel so bad for him he's getting soggy he's just standing there contemplating the situation he's got himself into I swear as art students we own about three brain cells collectively every other day there's like a I don't understand the wording of this assignment and then there's a huge thing because no one else does either no one is gonna care at all about this but this is a very fun program ever write something you've already done on your to-do list because you just want the satisfaction of having done something. I keep getting emails about entrepreneurship stuff. Delver's trying to find me. Yes, I wear my pajamas to go get breakfast. There's only so much a man is willing to do in the morning. Changed it to a less interesting outfit. After I'd already got my nice effort outfit on, my body was like, hey, time for a really bad dizziness outfit. Outfit? Clearly my brain still isn't working. Bad dizziness episode, so I decided to be now let's play my favorite game. Am I gonna pass out walking to the art building? It's a gamble every time. I heard somewhere that like mint stuff helps with nausea. I don't know if that's true, but I'll take any help I can get. Hey. How are you enjoying your time? Yo, so. <laughs> <laughs> Why is it always raining when I want to get lunch? The great art history migration. I had no idea you could even go this way. I was told today that there is a secret, not like actually a secret, but sushi place in one of the tunnels and now I'm extremely curious. Why is my thumb like this? It just also made it through art history. That look of exhaustion is shared by everyone in the class because we're all art people and it's a nearly three hour lecture. How is it that I get eyeshadow in my eyeballs every day? Is the effortful outfit gonna last? I think I prefer it open for today. My class is not for another 40 minutes, but I guess I'll go anyway. Love feeling shit before a class that's all group discussion. RIP. Apparently we also have guest people today to make it scary. This stuff here is actually from the snow and the artwork is obviously what will win my need to get massive amounts of homework done or my desire to take a nap? It's like the worst Pokemon battle. My class for tomorrow just got canceled. I'm trying not to be happy because I'm sure there's probably something for that class I'm forgetting about. I'm supposed to be reading the Canterbury Tales, but I got distracted watching a video about Cupid Pizza. But for telling you of his way, his honors were good, but he was not gay. Oh, that's a shame. He didn't give a pluck 10 for that text. Well, that's how I feel about this text, but here I am. This guy really cares about how nice and supple people's shoes are. I've only been at the art building for like 40 minutes, but I'm sore, so I'm gonna go in the comfy. I wasn't even doing proper work either. I was just trying to work my schedule for next semester. Cause there's this one photography class I've seen people taking and it doesn't look like something I wanna do. Okay, let's try this again. 
Oh, it's only allowed to get one sad pizza thing at a time. I was wondering if you guys break it up for us. I worry that my profs don't think I'm paying attention in class because of like this. But this, this is me paying attention. This is me mitigating, fidgeting, and stims and stuff enough so that I'm not bothering other people as much. If I'm just sitting there watching you, then I'm not paying attention, because that means I just zoned out. I just got back and have a bunch of work, but I just realized I desperately need to do laundry. Mm, more laundry. Jack tries to take public transit and not get lost. What will it do? Uh, probably get lost. Me and the bus system do not have the best relationship. I only got a little lost. I've been more lost. I've also been less lost. I run into a four minute walk when I'm going <laughs> to the doctor specifically. For not having the energy to do shit. I'm zooming as fast as I can zoom. My doctor actually believes me. Today we continue this saga of Jack missing his stop. I don't know if it's better or worse that it was the same stop as last time. Oh fuck, I just realized I could have continued the wrong way until it brought me to another part that is the right way. It's getting cold, which means it's time to break out these fuckers. I will be absolutely insufferable till next spring. The love of extremely weird animations continues. Hello friend, are you an alive friend? Are you an alive friend? <gasps> no, he's an alive friend! Hello little friend. Goodbye tiny little beast. Oops. <laughs> my, my bad. Squishy backpack, squishy backpack. I have a jacket that says parental guidance, but then I also have a squishy little backpack. Person. I remember to come. The charm lady recognized me from downtown. This guy is such a mood. Shakey, bakey, shake. Oh. Yeah, the catch is it grows legs and walks away when you try and eat it. Bacon on a bun. My nemesis. We didn't win a Charmander, we weren't very good at it. I have acquired a child! I've won in life by hitting things. <laughs> My parents are both fighting for a Charmander. Yeah, bread might be an overstatement. <laughs> Why do I have to care about neoclassicism in Denmark? Do you care about neoclassicism in Denmark? <laughs> <laughs>